Welcome to Math on Ice, December 2019, Assam paper, part B and part C. So we will see one question from part B and two questions from part C. If uh, phi is a function from 0, 1 to r is continuous and satisfies the integral equation, then phi of 1 is equal to. So we solve the problem by Leibniz rule. So I'm taking a differentiation of this integral equation, integral 0 to x. So the Leibniz rule is integral phi of x to psi of x f of x comma t into dt is equal to integral so differentiation of this one is equal to integral phi of x to psi of x partial differentiation with respect to x of f of x comma t into dt plus the differentiation of the upper limit psi dash of x into substitute uh, t as for psi of x so f of x comma psi of x minus differentiation of the lower limit uh, and into f of x comma phi of x right now here integral 0 to x differentiation of this one is 2 into x minus t into phi of t dt and then the upper limit part is x so we will have it as plus x into x minus x the whole square into psi of x minus 0 is equal to 4 x cube plus 5 x power 4 so it is integral 0 to x 2 into x minus t into phi of t dt is equal to 4x cube minus 5x power 4. Again, taking the Leibniz rule, uh, in, in integration uh, 0 to x, 2 times of a psi of t into dt plus upper limit is x. So, differentiation of x will give you 1. 2 times of x minus x into phi of x minus 0 is equal to 4 3s are 12x squared plus 5 4s are 20x cube. So, this is, is integral 0 to x. 2 times of uh, phi of t into dt is equal to 12x squared plus 20x cube. Again, taking the differentiation, we will have it as this integral part vanishes as it is independent of x. So, only the upper part which is 2 into phi of x which is equal to 12 to the 24x plus 60x squared. When I divide it by 2, I will have phi of x is equal to 12x plus 30x squared. So the question is to find phi of 1. So phi of 1 will be 12 plus 30, which is equal to 42. So correct answer is option 3, 42. Next question. Consider the integral equation phi of x is equal to here. Phi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral 0 to 2 pi cos of x minus t into phi of t dt. I should take. Uh, the option as the consideration and I have to find the problem. Okay. Then which of the following statements are true? If lambda is equal to 10 for option 1, lambda is equal to 10 and then f of x is equal to cos x, then the integral equation has a solution. Now we will substitute these things here in the question and then verify whether it is having solution or not. Now when, when I substitute f of x is equal to cos x and uh, lambda is equal to 10, I'll have the integral equation as phi of x is equal to cos x plus 10 times of integral 0 to 2 pi cos of x minus t into phi of t dt. Now I am going to solve the problem by the uh, method of a matrix. So this is a Fresnel integral equation. Now I am going to find the problem by ax is equal to b. a is equal to 1 minus a lambda a11 minus lambda a12 minus lambda a21 and then 1 minus lambda a22. x matrix is equal to here c1 c2 and b matrix is equal to v1 v2 where a i j is equal to integral the limit is a to b I'm, I'm writing the general case here the limit is 0 to 2 pi a i j is equal to integral a to b beta i of x into alpha j of x into dx and then b y b j is equal to integral a to b f of x into beta j of x into dx now a 1 1 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi beta 1 and alpha 1 so beta 1 and alpha 1 here cos of x minus t what is this Cos of x minus t is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So, this is alpha 1, beta 1, alpha 2, beta 2. So, uh, we will have it as cos squared x into dx. So, that is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2 into dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 taken outside x plus sin 2x divided by 2, 0 to 2 pi. If I apply the limits, I will have it as 1 by 2 into 2 pi plus 0. And when I apply the lower limit, it is completely 0. So, it is equal to pi. And a12 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi, beta 1 and alpha 2. Beta 1 is cos x, alpha 2 is sin x. 
So cos x into sin x into dx, which is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi sin 2x divided by 2 into dx. Uh, taking the integration this is equal to minus 1 by 2 outside cos 2x divided by uh, 2, 0 to 2 pi. When I apply 2 pi, cos 2 pi is 1. When I apply 0, I'll have 1. So 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2, I'll have it as 0. So this is going to be 0. A uh, 2 1 is equal to integral 0 to pi, beta 2 and alpha 1. Beta 2 is sin, alpha 1 is cos. So again, cos in, uh, sin x into cos x dx. The same thing is going to happen as like a 1 2. So this is also equal to 0. A 2 2 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi sin x into sin x. So sin squared x. So I'll have it as sin squared x into dx which is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 into dx is equal to 1 by 2 outside x minus uh, sin 2x divided by 2 lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 pi. So this is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 pi. When I apply 2 pi here for the sign it becomes 0 and when I apply 0 on the whole everything becomes 0. So it is equal to pi. And then we need to find v1 and v2. v1 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi. What is our v1? f f of x into beta j. That is beta 1. What is our f of x here? Cos x. Cos x into beta 1. Cos x into cos x. Cos squared x. Because beta 1 is cos x here. Cos t. So you are writing in the integration cos x into cos x. Cos squared x into dx. The, just now we have found the solution for integral 0 to 2 pi cos squared x. That is a11 value which is equal to pi here. This is equal to pi. And then v2 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi. f of x is cos x which is fixed. And beta 2. Beta 2 is sin t. So we will have sin x here. Sin x here. And dx is equal to 0 from a to 1. So here I have framed the A matrix 1 minus lambda A11. Lambda is 10 here in the given question. So I consider lambda is equal to 10. So 1 minus A1 lambda A11. That is what the A matrix is. Lambda is equal to 10. So A11 we call it as pi. So 1 minus 10 pi 0 0. 1 minus uh, 10 pi here. And then uh, we have the B matrix is equal to pi and 0. Right. Rank of A is equal to. We have the rank of the matrix is equal to 2. And rank of A by B, the, ma the matrix form, in order to find the existence of solution, it, it may have unique solution or it may have infinitely many solution. For no solution case only, the test fails. The option uh, is a failure option. So here, rank of A is equal to 2 and rank of A by B is equal to, that is also equal to 2. So we get an uh, unique solution in this case. So this case is true. This option is true. If lambda is equal to 10, f of x is equal to cos x, the integral equation has a solution. This is true. And next option, if lambda is equal to 1 by pi and f of x is equal to cos x, in the, in the place of... Uh, Lambda, we have 1 by pi. Okay, so the same procedure, the f of x is not changed. Therefore, I can have the same thing where the lambda value changes, right? So, a is equal to 1 minus lambda, a1, 1 minus 1 by pi into pi, 0, 0, 1 minus 1 by pi into pi. Instead of 10 here, I have to substitute 1 by pi. And then the B matrix as we shall same thing, pi here, 0 here. So, this matrix is A is equal to 0, 0. Pi pi cancels, 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. Rank of A is equal to, we get rank of A is equal to 0. And rank of A by B is not equal to 0, which is equal to 1 here. So, since these two are not equal, no solution. Solution does not exist. But in this option, yes, it is given. It has no solution, right? So, when lambda is equal to 1 by pi, f of x is equal to cos x, the integral equation has no solution. This is also true option. Next, for every lambda belonging to R, f of x is equal to cos 2x, the integral solution, the integral equation has a solution. Now, lambda is unfixed. For any lambda, for every lambda belonging to R, and f of x is equal to cos 2x. So, lambda is unfixed. So, we don't know what the lambda is. But f of x is given to be, uh, cos 2x. So only this B, this A matrix is unchanged. In the place of lambda, we do not substitute anything. It is any real number. 1 minus A11. That is A11 is pi. So we get 1 minus lambda pi. Here A matrix will become for the third option 1 minus lambda pi. My, uh, and then here it is 0. Here it is 0. 1 minus lambda pi. This is what uh, A matrix is. And B matrix will be changed because it is V1, V2 which involves F of x, right? Now the new F of x is given in the third option is uh, cos 2x. So, we need to find for cos 2x. Integral 0 to 2 pi for v1. So, f of x is cos 2x into, which is equal to into b beta 1. What is our beta 1? Beta 1 is equal to, beta 1 is equal to cos x. Beta 2 is equal to sin x, right? So, beta 1 is equal to cos x. Cos x into dx. So, this is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi. Cos a cos b is equal to 1 by 2 into cos of a plus b. That is 3x plus cos of a minus b. That is 2x minus x is x into dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 into sin 3x by 3, 0 to 2 pi. And then uh, plus cos x differentiation is sin x, 0 to 2 pi. When I apply 2 pi, 0 and all, the full thing becomes 0. So, it is equal to 0. And v2 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi cos 2x into sin x dx. 
so this is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to 2 pi cos a sin b which is equal to sin of a minus b sin of 3x minus x is 2x sin a minus b minus sin of a plus b oh sin of uh, cos a sin b is equal to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b right so sin a plus b minus sin a minus b so here we will have it as sin of a plus b sin of 2x plus x minus sin of 2x minus x into dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to 2 pi sin 3x minus sin x into dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 outside and this is uh, cos minus cos 3x minus cos 3x divided by 3 0 to 2 pi minus of plus uh, sin x differentiation is cos x 0 to 2 pi when i apply cos x here cos 2 pi is 1 cos 0 is 1 1 minus 1 0 vanishes and here it is 1 by 2 into minus cos 3x by 3 and then uh, 0 when i apply uh, 2 pi here cos 6 pi cos 6 and i am going to take this negative outside cos 6 pi which will be cos 6 pi is 1 so 1 by 3 minus cos 0 is 1 so 1 by 3 and this will vanish and we will get 0 and similarly here cos 2 pi is 1 cos 0 is 1 1 minus 1 0 so we are going to take have this one as also v, v2 is also 0. So what is the thing? A matrix is equal to 1 minus lambda pi 0 0 1 minus lambda pi and then the C1 C2 matrix and this B matrix is going to be 0 0. So it is a condition of homogeneous type. Okay the matrix condition is of homogeneous type and for homogeneous uh, problem AX is equal to 0. If a matrix is of this type system of equation then obviously 0 solution will be there. 0 is a solution, no solution is not at all possible, either no, uh, infinitely many solution or uh, unique solution. Here, so what is the option? For every lambda belonging to R and f of x is equal to cos 2x, the integral equation has a solution. This option is true. For every lambda belonging to R and f of x is equal to cos 2x, the integral equation has a solution is true. For the next uh, question, for every lambda belonging to R and f of x is equal to sin 2x, the integral equation has a unique solution. Let us verify whether it is happening or not when lambda belongs to r and f of x is equal to sin 2x. So, f of x is equal to sin 2x means only this part uh, b1 and b2 will be different. A matrix is this one. A matrix is unchanged. So, 1 minus lambda pi 0, 0, 1 minus lambda pi, right? So, if I have lambda is equal to, uh, lambda we do not know any lambda, lambda be any real number and we have this f of x is equal to sin 2x here. So, in v1 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi sin 2x into beta 1 is cos x dx which is equal to cos a sin b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So, we will have it as integral 0 uh, sin, sin a cos b is equal to sin of a plus b sin a cos b sin a cos b is equal to 1 by 2 outside sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. So, this is 1 by 2 outside sin of a plus b that is sin 3x plus sin of a minus b that is sin x into dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 outside integral 0 to 2 pi sin 3x will give us cos 3x divided by 3 limit is from 0 to 2 pi and then sin is minus cos. So, here minus of uh, cos x lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 pi. So, when you apply the limits cos 6 pi is uh, 1 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 vanishes here 1 minus 1 vanishes. So, everything vanishes and it is equal to 0 v1 is equal to 0. Now, what about v2? v2 is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi sin 2x sin x into dx. So, sin a sin b is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to 2 pi cos of a minus b that is cos of 2x minus x into dx minus cos of a uh, cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So, a plus b is 2x plus x into dx this is equal to 1 by 2 into integral 0 to 2 pi cos of 2x minus x is cos x dx minus cos of 3x into dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 outside cos uh, x uh, differentiation is sin x 0 to 2 pi and then minus sin 3x I'll have it as sin 3 uh, x divided by 3 so this is equal to 0 to 2 pi which is equal to here uh, when I apply the limits I'll have it as 0 and here also I will have it as 0 so 0 completely v1 0 v2 0 so only the leftover thing is 1 minus lambda pi 1 minus lambda pi, 1 minus lambda pi, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda pi and then C1, C2 and this is equal to uh, 0, 0 here, right. So, this is also homogeneous type. You can have infinitely many solution or unique solution. Now, what is the question they have given? 
in the option for every lambda belonging to our f of x is equal to sine 2x it has a unique solution okay not always when i have lambda is equal to when the determinant of the matrix a is equal to 0 that implies uh, this uh, this solution will have infinitely many solution determinant is e the determinant of a is equal to 0 means infinitely many solution if determinant of a is not equal to 0 means that implies unique solution so here 1 minus lambda pi into 1 minus lambda pi is equal to 0 means determinant is equal to 0 if lambda is equal to 1 by pi then in that case it will have infinitely many solution and not unique solution but in the option they have given for every lambda so this option is false fourth option is false next question let k is a kernel which is defined and it is a symmetric kernel k of x comma t is equal to k of t comma x and uh, i be an I identity operator define t comma s that is also a transformation function such that phi is belonging to the continuous function of uh, on a comma b if t phi of x is given and uh, s phi of x is given then which of the following is true okay for every lambda not equal to 0 which is a real number the only solution of i minus lambda t of i is equal to 0 as phi is identically equal to 0 now i'm going to consider a case where which it satisfies all the given conditions so here i'm going to take k of x comma t is equal to 1 right so this is equal to k of t comma x also and uh, your uh, lower limit a to be 0 and b to be 1 so I am going to take this a comma b is equal to 0 comma 1. So I will have t of phi of x is equal to integral 0 to x. k of x comma t is 1 into phi of t dt. Right. And similarly this way here s of phi of x is equal to integral 0 to 1 into k of x comma t is 1 into phi of t dt. Now for the first option for every lambda belonging to r minus 0 the only solution of i minus lambda t of i is equal to 0 as phi is identically equal to 0 right so i am going to take this one here i is an identity operator i minus lambda t of phi of x is equal to 0 that is what given so here we need to prove this is, if this happens so then we have to get phi is identically equal to 0 then we can say this first option is true otherwise first option is false now here we will verify whether it is giving us phi is identically equal to 0 or not i of phi of x minus lambda times of t of phi of x i of phi of x i this is equal to 0 i of phi of x is nothing but phi of x because it is an identity operator so this will uh, give us uh, phi of x minus lambda t of phi of x that is equal to integral 0 to x phi of t into dt is equal to 0 so this implies phi of x is equal to lambda times of integral 0 to x phi of t into dt now solving by using Leibniz rule this implies phi dash of x is equal to lambda times of this integral part vanishes is equal to 0 plus phi of x. So, this, is, this implies phi dash of x is equal to lambda times of phi of x. So, I will have it as phi dash of x divided by phi of x is equal to lambda integrating integrating with respect to dx. So, this is equal to log phi of x is equal to lambda x plus c. Right. So, log phi of x is equal to lambda x plus c and uh, we can have this way here uh, phi of uh, x is equal to lambda integral 0 to x phi of t dt right. So, what if we find uh, phi of 0 which is equal to I will get it as 0 right phi of 0 is equal to integral 0 to 0 phi of 0 will be uh, phi of 0 will be equal to 0. So, I will have this part as 0. Now, this way here, it is equal to, I will get log 0, which is not possible. So, I will rise, rise to the power uh, e. So, this will be phi of x is equal to e to the power lambda x into e to the power c. Let me take it as c1. So, if I substitute x is equal to 0 here, if, if I substitute here 0, phi of 0 is 0. e power 0 is 1, is into c1. So, I will have c1 is equal to 0. If I take c1 is equal to 0 here, what is the solution? phi of x is equal to 0 is the solution. So, phi of x must be equal to 0. If this condition satisfied, phi of x is equal to 0. Hence, the first option is true. This option is true. Next, for every lambda belonging to r minus 0, for every function f, there exists a unique solution of i minus lambda t of phi is equal to f. Okay. For every f, we don't know what the f is. There exists a unique solution of 1 minus lambda t phi is, is equal to f. Now, in the same condition, as like t, as like s, so, I am going to frame this one i minus lambda t into phi is equal to f. 
so what will happen here i minus lambda t into phi of x is equal to i must arrive at f right so this is equal to i into phi of x is phi of x minus lambda into t of phi of x is in integral this is equal to this is equal to here uh, t of x t of phi of x is equal to 0 to x phi of t dt right so this is lambda times of 0 to x phi of t dt which is equal to some function f f of x f is a function of x right yes now phi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral 0 to x phi of t into dt now this must give us a unique solution that is what given there exists a unique solution there exists a unique solution right for this one there exists a unique solution uh, and uh, f b for every f belonging to c uh, continuous function of a comma b so we cannot fix this f but there exists a unique solution of this one for every f there exists a unique solution of this one this is the older type integral equation of second kind as we know that for a older type integral equation of second kind kernel is a symmetric kernel right so for any older type integral equation of second kind we will have unique solution this is going to give us unique solution so option uh, second option is true and for this one third one for every lambda belonging to r minus 0 for every f belonging to the continuous map on closed a comma b there exists a unique solution of one mine uh, i identity operator minus lambda times of s of i is equal to f right so this is i minus lambda s phi of x is equal to f so we will have it as phi of x minus lambda into s of phi of x that is equal to integral 0 to 1 phi of t dt 0 to 1 phi of t dt is equal to f of x so we will have it as phi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral 0 to 1 phi of t dt now they have given that it has a unique solution it might not have unique solution for predom type of integral equation if lambda 1 is equal to lambda which is equal to uh, lambda 2 then we have psi of x as the eigen function this is the corresponding eigen value and this is the corresponding eigen function for the uh, integral equation then if integral 0 to 1 f of x into psi of x if it into dx if it is uh, not equal to 0 then we have no solution case and then if integral 0 to 1 f of x into psi of x into dx is equal to 0 we get infinitely many solution right so this is not necessary uh, to have a unique solution so the third one is false this is false now verifying for the fourth option there exists lambda belonging to r minus 0 such that i minus lambda s of i is equal to 0 where s we have taken in this problem 0 to 1 phi of t dt right so we will solve for this one for the last option i minus lambda s of i is equal to 0 should have a non-zero uh, solution for lambda not equal to 0 lambda being not there exists a lambda being not equal to 0 such that this one has a non-zero solution let us verify that so here i into phi of x minus lambda s of phi of x which is equal to 0 so i phi of x is phi of x minus lambda s of phi of x is integral 0 to 1 phi of t dt is equal to 0 so we will have it as phi of x is equal to lambda integral 0 to 1 phi of t into dt now phi of x is equal to lambda into c i have taken c is equal to integral 0 to 1 phi of t into dt so here phi of t will become lambda c right so c is equal to integral 0 to 1 lambda c into dt which is uh, c is equal to lambda c this is t 0 to 1 so c is equal to lambda c and this is 1 here so we will have it as c minus c lambda is equal to 0 so that implies c into 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 if we have lambda is equal to 1 if lambda is equal to 1 then c can be arbitrary c is arbitrary and what about the solution here phi of x will become lambda is taken to be 1 c is arbitrary so we have phi of x is equal to c which is not equal to 0 we can take c arbitrary let me take a non-zero value for c so in that case phi of x is equal to c which is a non-zero solution when lambda is equal to 1 so hence there exists the value of lambda for which it, the thing i minus lambda s of phi is equal to 0 has a non-zero solution so this option is true so first one is true second one is true and fourth one is true only third one is the false that's it thank you